What's going on, guys? This is Jay from Mellow Mowing, and welcome to episode number 26 of my Subnautica playthrough. Um, in the last episode, we got the sub down here, and I was running out of power, so I went ahead and built the thermal reactor for the sub, so now we can charge up all the batteries. And in fact, let me show you what I've done here. I've actually charged up in the exact same place. Um, I've charged up all the batteries. So I pulled all the uh, ones that were in here, and I got them uh, out. Oh, actually, that one's still charging. But they are going up, not down. If you watch that 24, come on, change to 25. Come on, change to 25. Come on, change to 25. We'll check it again in a minute. But that is working. What I do is I charged up these batteries, so they're all at 100%. These were all the ones that were at zero from getting down here. So that's cool. We got that going. Let's go see if that's 25 now. Eh. Weird. Well, anyway, you can see right here. I do have the. Uh, I've charged up those other batteries, so we're we're getting up there. Um. Now, what we're gonna do now? It's eighty-four percent. Nice. Those were the dead batteries, so that's good. It's working. Uh, I just got scared because it wasn't showing that. And um, what I also did was I took all the stuff from the drop-off bins over here. They are all now empty. I put it all down where it goes. Um. So what we need to do though is we need to get. You notice the sub right now we are at 1240 out of 1300 we can't really go that much further down without getting the mk3 upgrade for the sub which we can build with some kyanite which is right out here um but my prawn suit if you remember when we went down to get that kyanite it's getting crushed because it's actually not even an mk1 this is the basic prawn suit so we need to upgrade the prawn suit to mk2 actually to mk3 while we're while we're here I don't want to go back up to the surface because we have everything we need down here. So what my plan is, is we are going to build a base down here and put a moon pull on it so we can get the vehicle upgrade in there. And then we can actually build the MK1 and then leave it or dismantle it, I don't know. But we barely have enough materials to do so. So we're probably going to have to do some material hunting. Let's start off by going out here and putting down... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to need two titanium for the moon pool. Two titanium ingots, which is actually 20 titanium. We're going to be running out of titanium real quick. Where's the moon pool at? Uh, okay, yep, two titanium ingots, lubricant, and two lead. Let's let's do that, I guess. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to take a lot. And then we're going to need six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then two more for the hatch. Seven, eight. That's a lot. We need a quartz for the hatch. We're going to need, what does that say? Two lead. And a lubricant, which we have right here in the lube container. Okay, so we, we got everything we need for that. So I guess let's go down and place... Oh, well, you know, I should probably make the uh, titanium ingots before we go down to try to place something that I don't have. And this is going to get rid of this titanium completely. I won't even be able to get it back. Like, if I want to disable or de -disassemble the, disassemble the base, we could get back some of these materials. But these, they're not coming back. They're not going to be turned back into titanium. So probably just leave the base up once we get it going. Um, I am still here by the heat vents. Oh, maybe that's why I'm not charging, because I'm not close enough to a heat vent. No, it is charging. I also have those suckers on the sub still, I think. Oh, no, it looks like they, they, they left. Well, that's cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and put... Let's put the moon pool right here. Uh, maybe, let me see back here a little bit. Is there a nice little place for the moon pool over here? We're going to need a thermal reactor to heat this, so we'll just build it right here. So let's put the moon pool here. Let's get this stuff built up. Um, do the moon pole first. Ah, fuck it. Right there's perfect. And then we will go ahead and attach a multi-purpose room right to there. And we will go ahead and put a hatch right here on this bad boy. Oh, I need two more titanium. I thought I had two more titanium. Did I not grab enough titanium? I 
well, let's go get some more titanium. Which is going to be completely empty by the time... Whoa, whoa, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. There we go, that one is empty. And there we go. Two more titanium. And we're definitely going to need some more titanium. It's okay. It's okay. I think I, we saw titanium down here somewhere. Um, but we're going to have to use the prawns. There's kyanite right there, which we need to get the upgrade MK2. But we're going to have to build this MK1 first. I should have probably built the base on that side. Whatever, I don't care. Let's go ahead and finish this. Now, obviously, to be able to use this moon pool efficiently, we need power. And right now, it sounds like the base is actually... Yep. Yeah. Okay, the base is having trouble anyway. What I think I'm gonna do, let me let me let me re rethink some of this real quick. Let's actually move this whole thing. Including the moon pool. We're still gonna do it this way. I just want I wanna put it on this side of the sub. Because I want to be able to use one of these heat vents. That one right there is going to be our, our power. And this actually looks prettier anyway. Yeah, so let's put the moon pool right here. And one more time, one more time. Moon pool is actually going to go closer to the sub where it is right now, up this direction. Hold on, I'm just thinking of beautification. Because I want to have a glass window. We're going to keep this base, so I'm going to build it the way I want it. So put the moon pool right here. We will put the multi-purpose room on the back one right here. Um, no. Why are you not connecting? Is that connected? Yeah, it's connected. I think. Yeah, it's definitely connected. Okay. And we'll throw the hatch right here. Something bad's happening in the sub, it sounds like. Oh, no, the base is crushing. No problem. Okay, cool. So we need some reinforcements on the base. And to do that, we're going to need more titanium. So let's just hop back in the sub, and we'll take a little trip. I um, also want to check and make sure the power's gone. But what's that, like, what, 84%? Let's see. Oh, we're at 100%. Yeah. Okay, good. We're charging. Good, 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 good. I just, I got worried about that. Um, let's see. So what I want to do then is we're going to go ahead and pilot the sub a little bit. Let's see if the light on doesn't matter. I can't run out of power now. Um, probably have to turn the sub on though. Powering up. Ooh, there's a, a ruby right there. That's cool. Let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Grab these cameras underneath. And we're going to just look around and see if we can find some titanium. Um, I remember... Going backwards. I, found, I saw some titanium back here, like a whole fucking... There's the acid shrooms. There's another ruby right there. There's, uh... Quartz. Could have sworn I saw titanium. There it is, right there, titanium. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna back this bad boy up until... The prawn suit is pretty much right over. Looks good. Right about here. All right. And we'll leave it running. We can actually leave the motor on now, too. We don't have to fucking worry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Now, remember, this suit's going to start getting crushed. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is make sure that my repair tool, tool here is on the bar. And I'm going to put a brand new battery in it. 100% charge. How's um, that going? 72% flashlight. I don't really need that. But okay. So we're going to drop down on the prawn suit. It's going to start getting crushed. And where are we at right now? 82%? All right. We got some time. So we're just going to drill this titanium. Just fill her up completely. 77. You can see that my uh, repair is dropping rather quickly because I am very far underneath the... Uh, weight the pressure that I can sustain here but I actually can repair it faster than it goes away so we'll be fine this is perfect so we're getting our titanium 
65. I don't think you can repair it from with inside the sub. Which is kind of an issue. So once I get down to 50% here, I'm going to go ahead and repair this bad boy up to 100. Okay, so I think what's enough titanium. Let's hop out here and repair this. It's going to keep going down. See, it's ticking down, but I can repair it faster than it decomposes here, so we should be okay. Just get it back up to 100. It's going to take a little bit of battery power. We do have battery chargers on the sub, so we're okay. Infinite power. All right. So let's go ahead and aim for the opening here, see if I can get it back up into the sub. Maybe a little bit back. Let's try again. Oh, so close. All right, we're going to take a step this way. I think there's more titanium right there, too. Let's hop back up in here one more time. There we go. Okay, so I've got some titanium going. Perfect. Oh, uh, sweet. Awesome. Okay, this is this is plausible. We're going to be able to do this. we gotta, we got to reinforce the base now because the base is literally um, caving in on itself. Let's just go ahead and pull back over here by the base. And we'll park it. There's some kyanite I need to go get to, so we'll park it over here by the kyanite. Okay. <clears throat> Might as well go ahead and go down and grab the kyanite right now, too. Gotta be careful. Keep watching that percentage drop. Because once we get the MK2 on here, we won't have to worry about this anymore. And it looks like we're gonna need some water in a second, too. percent all right that's gone let's hover back over here once again I'm gonna look up and see where we are but I'm gonna hop out and repair this bad boy get back to 100% we won't have to do this anymore once we get the MK2 it's 1700 meters I believe for the MK2 so Come on. Good enough. Let's see, I think I'm lined up pretty good. Nope, I was, but I, I was too far to the, the right, the left there. Let's try again. There we go. All right. Let's really quickly hop down here. And I'm going to throw these batteries I have in here. That one's at 42. That one's at 3%. Just let those charge up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. It's because it's been getting a little bit wonky. With I got thrown out of the sub, actually, before and I was uh, trying to figure out what to do before the last episode I did. And um, I, I couldn't get back up to the sub because it did that glitch where I was out of the water even though I was in the water. So I was running around on the ground jumping. And I could not get back up to the sub, so I had to go back to a previous save, which is a little bit of a waste. But... Um, now what we're going to do is go and finish. Let's, well, let's grab the kyanite out of the storage here. Did I get four? That would be cool. Yes, I did. I think that's all I need. I think, actually, can we make the MK3 upgrade for the sub? Three kyanite plus steel ingot, which we're going to need more more ingots or more, uh, more titanium. Let's not do that. Let's not worry about that yet. So let's go ahead and put the kyanite in the kyanite. Oh, this sh I didn't make a kyanite. This is the kyanite. Kyanite? All right. We'll just throw that in there. Awesome. And we will swim back out to the base. We What do we need to make the reinforcements? I'm probably just going to make a plate. 
I think the plates will give it enough uh, reinforcement with just one of them. So this right here, reinforcement. We want a lithium and three titanium. So let's just grab, we'll grab two lithium just in case we need to make two plates, but I think we could do it with one. We'll do two anyway, because I want to make glass on this bad boy. So let's go ahead, hit three, and let's reinforce this building. I'm gonna actually reinforce the moon pool. I hear a shark coming at me. Okay, 1.5. Awesome, awesome. Let's repair the uh, internal damage here. And we'll put one more plate on here. Oh, I still need to get water too. Um, I think I can finish this before I go, hopefully. Awesome, awesome. All right, so that's draining, but I still won't be able to breathe in there because we have no power. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. Whoa, that went way faster than I remember going ever, but cool, cool. Uh, let's just grab a bottle from here. One, two, one, two. Uh, eat, eat, drink, drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, we're good. All right. I'm gonna put one more reinforced panel over here so we can fill this all in with windows because that I like windows. We'll leave that side open. This will be another reinforced panel. Um, I don't know. Maybe that will be a window too. We only really need one window over here. Oh, cool. I'm gonna grab that too. Once we get that thing going, I can get some more materials. Yeah. So let's go ahead and make this the other reinforced panel. And this should bring the integrity of the base up nice and high. You can put a window there, window there, windows all the way around here, which is gonna be amazing. Sweet shit. Okay, so now we need some kind of power. Obviously, the best way to power this would be a thermal generator. So let's go find out what I need to make a thermal generator. In fact, you know what? I've never in my life made a thermal generator in this game. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna be doing something new right now. Thermal plant is what it's called. Okay, two magnetite aerogel. Now that seems like it could become an issue because I believe I have one magnetite. <laughs> so let's go on a little adventure somewhere around and see if we can find another magnetite because I believe I found that magnetite down here. So hopefully, wait, is that? Nope, that's a dead fish. All right, let's swim around and see if we can find another magnetite somewhere around here. That would be really awesome if that happens. But uh, it maybe won't, so we'll find out. There's more uh, titanium, isn't that? Oh, is that nickel? That's silver. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of different resources down here. What's that, gold? That's oh, nickel. Okay. That is a, another dead fish. I'm thinking these fish get cooked when they get too close to the lava pits. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to mess with uh, any of the major wildlife over here yet because we haven't really explored too far that direction. And I don't really want to go that far that direction. Oh, there's a warper over there too. Another reason I don't want to go too far. But we need to find a one magnetite. It's titanium. It's more titanium. There's a whole another brick of titanium right there. There's something. That sound you just heard, there's a warper, but the other sound you just heard was actually the sea dragon. Let's go ahead and head back. That's gold. There's some sharks I gotta not fuck with. Lithium. Come on, magnetite. Oh, maybe I'll build a scanner down here. Scanner room so we can find some more magnetite. That one, oh wait, what's that? It's a diamond. Silver. More silver. 
Oh, it just bit me. Oh, sh shark. Okay, if, if this is gonna be magnetite here, it's gonna be like right here. I know it. Come on. I can feel you, brother. Where are you, magnetite? I just need one. What's that? It's not even a, a resource. Turn off, there you go. I want the light on, but not the, uh... I just need one little magnetite. That's more titanium? That's silver. All right, okay, I think I went in a circle. There's titanium. Cool. Yeah, once I get this magnetite, we can go get enough stuff to actually keep this base built up in on here, but right now, specifically, we need a magnetite so that we can create Get in, we have to get enough stuff going right now to be able to make the uh, the moon pool and the stuff to get my prawn suit so I can take it out of the ship and not die. Oh my god, I hope I make it back. I should. Oh, dude, it's going to be cutting it real close. Nah, we're okay. Plenty. Plenty of time there. Felt my air. And we'll go back down again. Wait, is that magnetite? Nope, that's that stupid fish I keep seeing. The magnetite's actually harder to see when you're swimming around. Because most of the other types of uh, materials are kind of like glowy and they're easier to, to see when you're swimming around. The magnetite's really dark. It's like a little black rock that you barely notice in a place like this. Because that one that we crossed over, the, I, I saw it on the, the camera. There's one. Bam. All right. It was right next to the sub the whole time, too. Beautiful. All right, let's get back up in here. So now we can make the thermal, this thermal plant, which is perfect. Okay, I got all this cool materials too, just going around. Let's go ahead and save it. Just because I don't want to not be saved if we lose that material. And we're going to make the thermal plant. Um, let's go downstairs where all the material is and see what else we need for the thermal plant. So we need two magnetite. We know that. That's a nickel. Uh, this magnetite. And we have two magnetite. Let's see. Mm-hmm, <laughs> thermal, where'd it go? There it is, thermal plant. Five titanium, two magnetite, and an aerogel. Aerogel, we need uh, deep shrooms. Is it deep shrooms? Wait, what? No, I forgot what I need for aerogel. Um, it'd be under here. Oh, gel sack and a ruby. <coughs> I have a ruby on me. And we have gel sacks right here, and that's arrow. Oh, mole. Let's just take this arrow gel. <laughs> Much better. And yeah, let's go make a thermal plant. I want to see. I think it will automatically power the base if I just place the thermal plant like right here. I think it's supposed to like shoot a thing out to it. Does the thermal plant have to go? Oh, it goes outside. Okay. Let's put this bad boy right here. And that should doodly do it. Bam, base is powered. Heck yes. All right, so let's go ahead and cruise up in here for a second. Awesome. So we got some power. Nice, yummy heat power. Uh, next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to build the computer system in here, which is right, right. Wait, did I pass it? Right, right here. Vehicle upgrade: three titanium computer chip and copper wire. So we need a computer chip and copper wire. Let's go get it. And you know what? I just happen to have Welcome copper on wire on right here in our Kerrcraft, I believe. All yes, I do. And we need a computer chip. Um, computer chip to make. 
Requires. It's easier just to look at the damn thing. That's a wiring kit. For a computer chip, we need. Uh, oh, table coral. So we're going to need a second copper wire, which we have right here. And some table coral. Uh, hopefully, I have enough table coral because that's something we do not have much of down here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I think I can make the computer chip now. I can. Fuck yes. And let's go make the... Uh, I think that's all I need, right? And this also repairs the... Uh, I also want to put these windows in, which I'm going to do. Um, but let's go ahead and put the computer down here. Uh, three. We want to go to here. Hell yes. I think I have everything to do this right now. <gasps> Except for power. <laughs> I ran out of power. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, let's just take the... Actually, I haven't been using my scanner. Let's take... You know, let's just, let's just go grab another battery. Fuck it. In fact, you know what I might do real quick? We got plenty of copper. Um, and we have plenty of acid streams down here, I believe. Well, not plenty, but... Let's go ahead and make two more batteries. Just... Just to have them on the charger, because I actually have two with me all the time anyway. That's not the right crafting station. Make a battery here. Make another battery. Alright, so those are on me. Um, let's go ahead and grab out two of these and put them in the full battery container here. All right. Um, let's take out some stuff from some some of my things here. That's at 44%. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. Flashlight. We'll replace that with a 100 as well. Um, nope. Um, need a new 100 in here, which I don't have any. So let's now go here again. Drop these two batteries in here and pull these two batteries out. And where are we at? Put 100 in here. My scanner is at 56. Let's fill it up. And the repair tool, which is at 66. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these two batteries in here. We should be okay for now. I'm not going to need the repair tool to keep repairing this thing once I get it into the... See you Bay. Hopefully, I'm hoping, I didn't even think about this, but I hope that when I put it in the Seamoth Bay, it's not going to count as a, what's up with that window? Why does it look like it's not, what's happening there? Oh, because that's the upgrade station. Let's finish it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, you know what? That sucks. Can I put the upgrade station? I'm kind of hoping I can put the upgrade station uh, against one of the the walls that I put the things on. Like, this one would be great, but I don't know if you can do that. Can you do that? Let's find out. I hope so. No, I can't. I have to use one of the windows. It's the only window left in here. Wait, this one. Can I put it on the back wall? Yeah, I can. Let's put it there. All right. And now, I can make the prawn suit MK1. Beautiful. And we can also make the thermal reactor for the prawn suit. We have everything we need to do that too, I believe. We can also make the prawn jump jet. But I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more concerned about this one. And this one's a good idea, the prawn suit thermal reactor. I'll keep it powered. Well, first thing we're going to do is get the Prawn Suit Death Module. Death Module, we need um, two rubies, um, one ruby, as we have one on us, uh, one nickel ore, and a plus two ingot. So we might actually need to get more titanium. Do I have enough titanium? No, I do not. I'm pretty sure we're going to need more titanium. But I do believe when I was swimming around, we saw another titanium. So let's go ahead and swim back up here. Grab some water. This time we're just going to go up and get the water from the place. Cause... 
I need to fill the decoy loading tube. I didn't mean to click that, but now that I noticed, I only have two more decoys. Wow. Um, we need to put more decoys in there. We need to make more decoys. And we need more titanium. We're going to be okay. Let's grab these other marble melons. Eat them. And then we'll cut a couple of these up with the knife. Mm -hmm. I'll put that in the seed barrel here. And back to three. All right. <clears throat> All right. So we got some things going on here. Let's go ahead and take this guy. And take him over to the new moon pool. Which I believe now we can actually grab some things. Because the one thing the moon pool does is it actually repairs, doesn't it? Uh, even if it doesn't, I can repair from inside the moon pool. I cannot repair from inside the sub. So we're at 84. Let's go over here real quick and see if we can find... This is silver. Don't really care for silver right now. I need to get the titanium. 77. I know I saw more titanium over here. I think it was right around the corner right here. There it is. I'm still watching our depth because we are definitely under our depth here. All right. Oh, this is silver. I went 59%. I'm going to hop out and repair this bad boy. We won't have to deal with this much longer because we will have that MK2 as soon as I get this thing made. The problem is I need more titanium. We need to find one more little titanium thing. Some more quartz. There's the base. Is that titanium? Nope, that's not even a harvestable resource. Alright, 7% again. Come on, titanium, where are you? Where are you, titanium? Is that titanium over there? No, sir, it is not. I need one more titanium. Uh, so let's be honest, I, don't know. I want titanium. Drillable titanium. 70%. Alright, let's start going back. 65%. Should do another full repair in a second here. You know what? Might as well go this way, so. Let's hop out and repair again. Oh, shit, no. Hop out. I will be so happy once we get this thing. So I don't have to do this every fucking two minutes. But I'm keeping it alive. Keeping it alive. Alright. Let's go. Is that titanium? That looks like silver. Son of a bitch. I need titanium. That's more silver up there. What's this? That's gold. That's more gold. Seventy-seven percent. 
Oh, there's uh, you're a knight. It's a bunch of fucking rubies right there. There's all kinds of uh, materials down here. Like all kinds. Okay, I hear the sea dragon. I hope I'm not getting too close to the sea dragon. Oh, that's oh shit. I thought, never mind. I got real scared for a second there, but we're good. 64%. Man, we need to find another titanium. It's gold. If you hold left for some reason, you walk a lot faster with this dude on. Yeah, 54%. Uh-oh. That is all I need for that warper to fucking get me. Forty-two percent. Thirty-nine percent. Alright, I'm actually gonna hop out and repair this. Because if I don't... Uh oh Shit, 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 shit. No. I can't lose this. We're gonna get it back up to 100. I only have 36% left on the charge on this bad boy. Okay, back up to 100. Good enough. And there's more silver. We did not find any titanium. Not good. Not good at all. This crystalline sulfur. Is this? This could be titanium, but never mind. That's silver ore. No. -ho. Alright, well, this is fucking horrible. Is that titanium? Oh, yes! Shit. Alright, we're back in business, boys. Whew. It seems like everything we need to, like, survive is down here. Which is kind of cool. Once we get this MK1 module build, I, I don't have to keep dying here, and then we'll eventually just get this guy up to MK3. And we'll be able to just continue down to the depths of the lava zone. 62%. Let's finish off this titanium. Is that it? No, there's more. Let's hop out. Just go ahead and... Uh, Use the rest of this 14% power I got here. Fill this bad boy up all the way. Well, as far as I can get it. This looks like it's gonna be pretty close to all the way. Seven, six, and five. All right, so now I have no more choice but to get back to that base pretty quick now. So let's go finish drilling this, where'd it go? Finish drilling this bad boy. it yep that was it hopefully that will be enough for the plus deal later let's go get this inside here and see if uh it works out for me in fact you know we're right here let's grab some quartz Two windows. That's three windows. Yeah, that's right. I'm making windows. Three and a half windows. Four windows is good enough. Let's go up to the moon pool now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Stop, 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 stop. This moon pool should Welcome repair. No, it won't repair, but it will give me the ability to repair it from here. 
right? It doesn't. It just charges it. Charging. Yeah. Okay. But see, from here, I don't have enough battery power. But now at least I can just repair from here. Wait, enter prone warning. Docked vehicle is below its current crush depth. Is it still repairing though? Oh, it's charging, it's not repairing. Uh oh. Let's see. 57. Uh oh. I think that is going to continue to go down. Let's go ahead and take it back to the sub until we can get the uh, MK1 module in here. Oh, you know what? Oh shit, okay, I gotta. I gotta, oh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull the battery out of here. And we're gonna switch batteries. Oh shit. It's set 31, set 30%. No, 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 we can't lose this bad boy. Okay, I can't repair it from in here, so we need to get down here really quick and grab some batteries. Take them with us. What the fuck is on my leg? Ow! I just totally ran my head into the microphone. Sorry about that. Let's go. Cool. We good. All right. Let's go ahead and replace this battery with 100. Throw this piece of crap not in charged battery into there. All right, this one over here, I'm gonna save it just in case uh, this doesn't go as planned. I'm gonna hop out of here and we're gonna repair it. Keep going. We got you. Almost done. All right. Uh, let's hop back up in here. Perfecto. So that's all repaired and ready to go. So we gotta get the MK2 for this. First, we need to go make the MK1. I think I have enough stuff to do it now. Let's find out what I needed for the MK1. MK1 for the prawn suit. We are looking at, that's the Cyclops. Here's the prawn suit stuff. There's the depth module for the Seamoth. Where's the depth module for prawn suit? Okay, plus steel ink. That's what we were trying to work on. Hopefully I have 10, um, 10 titanium now. I'm hoping we do. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweet. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go down here. I think we're gonna need a lithium or a lead. I think a lead. All right? Or is it lithium? Let's grab some everything, I don't care. So, we're gonna go ahead and make another titanium ingot. And a plus steel ingot. All right, what was the other thing we needed? Mm. One nickel ore and one ruby, because we have one and three. So one nickel ore, Tink. and one SCRNite, one ruby. So now we have two rubies and three nickel ore. Let's go make the debt module so my fucking ship stops breaking. Oh, finally, I'm excited, this is awesome. We have no need to go back up to the surface. We have everything we need down here now. So let's go ahead and craft this bad boy right there. And we're going to take that and we're going to go straight back to the sub. And we're going to craft the second one. Which is the last one you can get actually, which is 1700 meters. So our prawn suit will be like hardcore 
Let's see what we need for. Okay, two, five titanium, lithium, two lithium, and three kyanite. We have everything but the titanium. But you know what? I am pretty sure that this one that we have will bring this bad boy down. Um, you know what I also want to craft since we have one? Pretty sure that's going to make me sound like crushing depth anymore. Yes! 1247 meters at 1300. I cannot be crushed. Oh, cool. Now we can like casually chill out here. Just strolling along. I'm going to go ahead and repair this because it's only at 98. But now we're good. Uh, I, you know what I should make? I should make a reinforced hole. Okay, let's go take it over here now. Beautiful. I should probably grab the uh, grappling arm too, maybe. Nah, I need to pick stuff up. Okay, so weakness. Let's go ahead and see what I need to make the whole reinforcement. Um, three titanium and four diamonds. So titanium is still an issue. We probably want to go find more titanium if possible. I mean, we're definitely going to need more titanium to get to 1,700 meters, which is what we're going to be doing next. Um, let's see. Let's go explore a little bit now. I don't know if this episode is running long yet, but now that we don't have to worry about uh, anything bad happening, we can literally go wherever we want now. There's a diamond. Maybe I could just find three titanium walking around. Yeah, I think the fish literally fall in the water here and they cook they get cooked from hitting the fire. Which I think is kinda cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. get it. Diamond. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Um, I just realized I can't be in the fire. In fact, I literally almost destroyed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that, guys? It was at fucking 10%. I cannot believe I did. I, <laughs> I need to get the thermal reactor for this bad boy first. Oh shit, that was crazy. I think the whole reinforcement is important. <laughs> I almost just blew up my fucking... Uh, after all that. All the crushing depth. I almost just blew that shit up, but I didn't. I didn't. I saved it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna save it right here. I think that's gonna be it for episode number 26. Um, and I'll see you guys in number 27 when we go and find more titanium. I might actually explore around here and just kind of harvest stuff and be back in the sub next time. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Keep in mind. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, and subscribe buttons. It'll help me out tremendously. And also, for our Discord, the podcast, past streams, and all our other social media, you can always check out the website at www.mmoing.ga. Thanks again.